The room below looks like the one where the spheres are. That's because it is the ceiling of the observatory. He's ignoring me. Now, all that's missing is the staff and the mask. And now, the mask. I'll be right back. Whoever you are, thank you for bringing it here. Had I known you were behind this, I would have thought twice about it. Hello, Kasim. It's me, Sadia. Sadia? <laughs> Sadia, how long has it been? Since you had me thrown out of the palace. Long enough to leave those times behind me. As if anything has changed since then, I'm still the sole heir of the Mogul dynasty. And you, you're nothing. That's where you're mistaken. I'll go into battle against the demon hordes, and I will triumph. All of Avastan will know my name, and everyone will fall to their knees before me in awe. <laughs> you really believe that? You can't change who you are, Sadia. You'll always be the same person you always were. Second class. Insignificant. My name, on the other hand, my name will be Immortal. Take my hand. I'll take you to a more comfortable place. How do you think they knew each other? He is a prince. She's a princess. Maybe they're siblings. What I find much more puzzling is how the mage knew about their conversation. He wasn't there. And yet it's written in his journal. Keep reading. I took the woman to her chambers. It was obvious that she knew the prince. Yet I still couldn't find any malevolence in her. In order to keep an eye on her, I commanded one of my invisible air spirits to continue watching her. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll leave you alone now. Get some rest. You'll need your strength tomorrow when we send you home. I didn't come here only to be sent back. You were the instrument of a traitor. I doubt Admiral Vahim's going to welcome such a person to his fortress. Let me talk to him. There's water on the table. I'll have fresh vegetables brought to you soon. We'll meet again at dawn. Good night. If you won't talk to the Admiral, then I'll do it myself. And please stay in your room. No! I travelled the Rashtulian Wall, so I've already seen more than enough plants. It feels like wax. Never. I'm tired. But if I fall asleep, they'll take me back to Fazar at dawn. That must not happen. Tomorrow the fortress will set out, and I'll be on it. The world must recognize once and for all what I'm made of. How? They locked me up in here. I must join the battle. Let me talk to the Admiral. I'm truly sorry, but no. And now, please go back and sleep. <gasps> the leaves are swaying in the wind, but there's no wind here. Hey, you. You're an air spirit, aren't you? Let's play. Let's play hide and seek. We'll both hide from the mages. Hmm. What shall we do? They would find us right away in this room. <gasps> 
three horns on a platform. War is raging outside, and the mages are listening to the spheres. But if the demons win, there'll be nothing left to listen to. Hmm, the horns can be turned. What is that? It sounds like a whisper. The whisper is getting louder. You must find the garden. The name is in the garden. And without the name, the mask is worthless. I know, but where shall I begin? No one here knows where it is, let alone whether it even exists. It does exist, but to find it, you need the mask. I'm so close. While the most powerful men in Avestan smash heads in the Gorian Desert, I'll restore the realm of my fathers, and there will be no one left to stand in my way. Is this the same garden the staff spoke of? What is Kasim planning? Xerxes! No time for idle recreation. And now, where shall I put it? What is she doing here? Admiral? I thought the evil mage had locked you up in his tower. Yes, but I jumped out of the window. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, eh, Wahim? Take me with you to the battle. I won't disappoint you. And she has courage. Yes, but no weapon. Besides, she almost played into Kasim's hands. I think it's too risky. I didn't know about the Prince's plan. I heard. But how do I know that you won't unknowingly aid him again? As long as we don't know his plans, I won't take any further risks. I eavesdropped on the Prince. He's looking for some garden. He wants to use it to seize power after the battle. Surely not the Garden of Oblivion. You know something about it? Well, yes. It's just a legend, but... They say there's a hidden cave somewhere in the Rashtulian Wall, near the volcano Rashtul Kancharot. The cave bears the name the Garden of Oblivion, because everything that takes place there is forgotten by time itself, whatever that means. Does the legend also mention a mask? Yes, there was something about that, but I'd have to do some research to be sure. That doesn't sound like something I need to concern myself with. If Kasim's attention is really on a cave in the Rashtulian Wall and not on the battle, then he's no longer my problem, so we can safely turn our attention towards our actual goal. The Garden of Oblivion? Have you ever heard of that? No, never. But this story gets stranger from page to page. I may be mistaken, but something about this garden feels wrong. I can't say what just yet. Keep reading. Admiral Wahim turned a deaf ear to every warning, but I felt the danger emanating from this garden. The girl, on the other hand, had tasted blood. I think she imagined the garden was something that could help her achieve her ambitions. Only she didn't know precisely how. What do you know about the battle? It is said that the demon lord Borborad is planning an invasion of the damned in the Gorian Desert, and Rohal the Wise will oppose him. 
Rohal's troops have been preparing for the big day for months in Zorgan. Meanwhile, more and more demon scum are forcing their way out of Borborad's portal into the Gorian Desert. A lot of effort for a slaughter that will only last a few hours. However it may end, it will change Aventuria forever. Why a flying fortress? No matter what, we must prevent the plague of demons from spreading. That's why we're carrying the battle directly to Borborad's door. No living thing has ever faced so many creatures from the Nether Hells as we will in three days' time. You should know, demons are tough, nearly invincible. One must lure them onto sacred ground in order to defeat them. And since we can't do that, we'll bring the sacred ground to them. Keshal Ri is a monumental floating temple built to carry the light of the gods into the middle of the armies of darkness. What will it be like to fight against demons? Horrible. There's nothing more terrible than being exposed to the madness of such a creature. They don't act or think as we do. Their bodies are not made of flesh and blood. And they're almost invulnerable to common magic. How does one kill something like that? With blessed weapons. A lot of luck, courage, and a gigantic flying fortress. Why are you anchored outside Draconia? The Air Elementalists helped us build Keshal Ri. We had hoped they would continue to support us. But they're only interested in elements and the harmonies of the spheres, not in politics, no matter how bloody. The Council will merely send a group of observers on board, but no more than that. Good. Then there'll be someone who can tell the world about me. <laughs> that would be much too selfless for that bunch. The Elementalists have long planned to withdraw from the fate of the world. They expect that the battle will make this decision easier for them. In other words, they hope it'll be so disgustingly bloody that they'll never have to leave their little ivory tower again. If that ivory tower still exists at that point. What sort of weapon do I need in order to come with you? We're fighting against demons, so something blessed would be good. Bring me some kind of weapon and my companion will take care of the blessing. He is a Deont. <laughs> Deont would be more like it. Ariarchos, please. Does it matter what sort of weapon I bring you? Something you fought with before. Leave everything else to my cleric. I'll be back soon. Bless this weapon for me. A simple dagger. I'm fast and agile with it. It has done me loyal service. That's enough for me. However, the blessing will take some time. Pick it up from me later. Well, are you taking me with you or not? I don't know what you think, Wahim, but I like her. All right then, we set sail at dawn. Rest until then. The cots in Keshal Ri are far less comfortable than those here. <clears throat> You've come just in time, Xerxes. The girl has just joined our army, which, in my eyes, makes her a good bit more sensible than your entire council. Hmm. All right. If you vouch for her, as long as she doesn't hurl us all into disaster, I don't care. <laughs> He didn't like that at all. Quite right. Well, back to the fortress for me. Here's to a glorious battle, you two. I'm going to look round the library a bit. The talk of this Garden of Oblivion has made me curious. <laughs>